Hello, my name is Jemima Carr-Jones and I am an MA Broadcast Journalism student. I chose to do a Masters in Broadcast Journalism because I love all things broadcast and I love storytelling and journalism is storytelling and broadcast is broadcast um, and I love it. I found it to be a really fulfilling experience. I Everything that I could have hoped to have got out of the Masters that I'm doing, I feel like I've got out of it. Um, so I'm really happy, um, really happy with the choice that I made and the fact that I've done this. City is famous for its broadcast journalism masters. It's pretty much the only place to go if you want, if you're serious about a career in broadcast journalism and you want to learn from the best about the best. That's what I'd been told before I'd come to do the course and that's definitely what my experience has been as well. Um, I've learned so many skills. I've learned how to edit. I've learned how to so sound edit, video edit. I've learned how to present. I've, le I've had voice training. I've learned how to pitch. I've learned how to research and find interviewees for stories. That is, you know, case studies and also authoritative interviewees. So for instance, we did a story um, a few weeks ago on the ULES, the ultra low admission zone, and we went out and interviewed head of strategy and planning at TFL. So it's things like that. It's sort of having, you learn a lot about how to get the job done and done professionally. Before the course, I was doing my undergraduate degree at Bristol. I did Spanish and art history and I did a year living in Spain where I went to university in Spain and I taught in a school, I taught English to six year olds. I did a lot of style writing um, and editing for fashion magazines um, in my sort of free time. In my free time, I love all things fashion. I also am obsessed with surfing. Any opportunity to get in the car and get get up to the beach and on a board I'm there any opportunity to get on a budget flight to Portugal or Spain or you name it Bob's your uncle I'll go I've got a dog I do a lot of looking after my dog in my free time I love films I'm a bit of a film head um, so I love going to the Curzon where they've got lots of sort of indie films I also like the blockbuster films um, all films really I'd definitely say that in my masters, the TV news days have been hands down my favourite like part of the course. It's amazing. We all sort of get together, sort of 25 or 30 of us in one group and we all collaborate. We all have different jobs and the ultimate objective is to produce a 30 minute TV news show, basically like BBC News at six. And it's amazing because obviously we've all come to this course not really knowing much about what goes into producing a show. And you know, we all have a different role and wham bam thank you ma'am, by the time it gets to three o'clock, we've all been sort of scurrying around doing our little jobs and helping each other out and like, you know, throwing ideas around and you know, some someone will go out and do a live at like, I don't know, where, where there's a breaking news story and sort of the clock strikes three and the tech director, whoever's the tech director, presses that button, the show starts. And it's just magical being able to see something come together that you and all, you know, your mates have put, have like created. It's really beautiful actually. Um, and I find that really fun and really rewarding. the masters yet and I'm already working on a freelance basis as a radio producer and podcast editor which is really good fun um, and those that job I've only been able to get from what I've learned on the masters so far which is really cool that you know I haven't even finished yet and it's already kind of paying dividends going forward I'd really like to branch out into TV I'd really like to work in sort of TV documentary um, un or unscripted drama something like that um so yeah i'm really excited and um i kind of can't wait to see what the future holds um but i feel like in this industry you sort of have to work hard be a nice person and just see where the wave 
carries you um, and just take every opportunity that you can. Going forwards in this industry, I feel like TikTok and Instagram and basically social media and the way that that brings people their news um, and information in general is a rapidly expanding area of this sector and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how that kind of develops and it's going to be interesting to see who can keep up and who gets left behind. I know that the BBC recently decided to get involved in, in TikTok and that was something they were really reticent to get on board with for a while. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's a really interesting time to be working in media and news, documentary, storytelling. So we'll see how, see how it all unravels and what happens. I would say to future MA broadcast journalism students that this course is the perfect course if you want to go into TV, radio, podcasting, that kind of thing. Doesn't matter if you're not interested in necessarily hard news. The skills that you will acquire from this master's will enable you to go and do a plethora of different things. So trust the process, keep going. Media law is quite hard, but we move, you will get through it. Um, definitely just persevere and try and acquire as many skills as you possibly can while, while they are at your fingertips. It's all there, all the support that you could possibly need to be really well equipped for a working life in the media is at City, so grab every opportunity with both hands.